Okay, I just thought I'd show you quickly. This is the uh, ETRM motor on my honeybee, and uh, I have burned out six of them this year. This is a blade. This is a belt driven tail on the blade, but on the ETRM I thought I'd show you what it looks like. This is, like I said, the uh, I've just changed the motors too many times. And here's what's happened. Here's a, the motor taken apart. And this is the armature. And if you look at the armature, you'll see that there is a wire right there and a wire right here. It burned in two. And of course, when that's burned in two, there's no way it's going to run. This is the end cap with the brushes. The brushes all look very good in there. I don't see anything wrong with the brushes. And the gear I had to cut off because you can't get the armature out without doing that. So uh, it takes very little. This is a tiny little motor. It takes very little to burn them out. So if you're going to crash, you got to make sure you shut that off or you're going to re be replacing it. I haven't crashed, but I really work it when I am making uh, abrupt changes in speed and turns. And uh, it doesn't take much. Like I said, the motor's a little too weak for the helicopter if you're going to fly aggressively. So that's what it looks like inside. And uh, you can see the magnets down inside there. And you can also see another piece of wire down in there. It looks like it was thrown off. So that's what it looks like, folks. Uh, you should fly, uh, you should have a few of these on hand if you're going to fly.